Hello students and welcome to another lesson presented by the Learning Depot. I'm Lulu Shaw and in today's lesson we will learn about modifiers and their degrees of form. Most modifiers and adjectives have three degrees of form, that is the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. In today's lesson we will learn about these and how to use them. Let's begin! Before we go on to the three degrees of modifiers, let's do a quick review of what a modifier is. A word or group of words that changes or modifies the meaning of another word is called a modifier. And modifiers are usually adjectives and adverbs. In today's lesson, we will learn about inflection of adjectives and adverbs and their degrees of form. Now, most adjectives and adverbs have three degrees or forms, positive, comparative, and superlative. Let's start with adjectives in the positive degree. The positive degree is the simplest form of the adjective and has no special ending. It is simply the degree of the modifier in its basic form of the word, and it is not used to make a comparison. Like in this example, Thomas is strong. The adjective is strong, and it is in its basic form. It merely describes the quality without expressing or suggesting any comparison. Therefore, the positive degree of the adjective strong is strong. Let's go on to the comparative degree. The comparative degree of a modifier is used to show comparison between two things. The comparative degree of an adjective is formed by adding the suffix er to the positive degree. The suffix er denotes that the quality exists in the object described in a higher degree than in the other object. It replaces the adverb more. So now if we say, William is stronger than Thomas. In this example, the comparative degree of the adjective strong is stronger meaning William is more strong than Thomas. Let's go on to the superlative degree. The superlative degree of a modifier is used to show comparison among three or more things. The superlative degree is formed by adding the suffix est to the positive degree. It denotes that the quality exists in the highest degree in the object described, and it replaces the adverb most. Like in this example, Jake is the strongest of all three. This means that Jake is the most strong. So if we look at the three degrees of the adjective strong, we can see in the positive, Thomas is strong. In the comparative, William is stronger than Thomas. And in the superlative, Jake is the strongest of the three, or Jake is the strongest of all. This means that Jake is the most strong. A word of caution. A common error is to use the adverb more and the suffix er in combination. This is grammatically incorrect and must be avoided. Therefore, you should never say, William is more stronger than Thomas. That is an error of double comparison and it must be avoided. Adverbs also have three degrees of comparison, the positive, the comparative, and the superlative. Most adverbs are compared by means of more and most, especially the ones ending in ly, like promptly. John came promptly. That is the positive degree. Richard came more promptly than John. This is the comparative degree. Henry came most promptly of all. This is the superlative. And a few adverbs are compared by means of the suffixes er and est, such as near in the positive, nearer in the comparative, and nearest in the superlative. Soon in the positive, sooner in the comparative, and soonest in the superlative. 
Let's do some practice using the comparative and the superlative. Mary is the more or most agreeable of the two. The correct answer is more. Mary is the more agreeable of the two. We are comparing two people. How about in the next example? Mary is the more or most agreeable of all the family. That is correct. You would use most. Mary is the most agreeable of all the family. We are comparing Mary to all of the family. Let's do another example. I like both Mary and Jane, but I am fonder or fondest of Mary. You are correct. Fonder. We are comparing Mary and Jane. And one last example. Vicky and Barbie are sisters. Vicky is the older or the oldest sister. You are correct. Vicky is the older sister because again, we're using the comparative to compare two things. Remember that the same principle applies to adverbs. Let's look at this example and give it a try. John runs faster or fastest than Tom. You are correct. Faster is the correct modifier. We have to use the comparative. Your clue is the word than. You are comparing two things. Which of you three can run faster or fastest? You are correct. Fastest. Which of you three can run fastest? Because here the acts of more than two people are compared. To summarize, in today's lesson we learned about modifiers and their degrees of form. We learned that modifiers can be adjectives and adverbs, and the three degrees are positive, comparative, and superlative. Make sure to go back and review the parts of the video you did not understand. And if you have questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.